Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be trying the Hero Cosmetics Pore Purity. This product retails for $20. I have worked with Hero Cosmetics in the past. I love so many of their products. I did purchase this product myself though, and I really feel like that it makes sense for Hero Cosmetics to release it. From what it looks like, this product is a clay mask that rinses off in a foam, which is like a hybrid cleanser and clay mask. It's really unique. I haven't felt the texture of this yet, but I'm excited to see how it performs. This product is vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, and comes in recyclable packaging. The highlight ingredients in this product include glacial sea clay, volcanic clay, and sea kelp bioferment. To check out the full ingredient list, make sure you click the link in the description to go to their website. So the main things I'll be looking for with this product are just to see what results I notice and also how this product performs, but I will be continuing to do check-ins, so I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all a quick check-in on this product. I'm going to go ahead and apply it, and so that way I can be talking about my experience with it as I am wearing it, because this is a mask. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make you sit here for the entire time. I just kinda wanted to go ahead and apply it so that I can talk about it as it's setting. So I've just been using this product on my t-zone and just the areas that i do struggle with acne this is one of the most lightweight masks that i've ever used i'm gonna go ahead and show you the texture of this product i mean you can kind of see it on my face but still i just want to show you this so it is an extremely lightweight mask and my favorite part about this mask actually comes when I rinse it off. It is so easy to rinse off. It does have a light foam to it because this is a hybrid mask and cleanser, which is something I haven't seen in a product before. They may exist, but I've just never seen it. One of my biggest pet peeves with masks are that they usually are very hard to rinse off and they're extremely difficult to get off. Like say my neck right here, if I were to apply it there sometimes, masks are too thick and it's hard to rinse off. This product is not that whatsoever. It's extremely lightweight. It's not very drying to the skin. It's obviously supposed to be a little bit more drying because it is supposed to clear out some things out of your pores. Oily skin, I feel like you're going to love this product. Dry skin, I would go in with this product if you do struggle with acne, like say once a week or just whenever your acne is bad. I could see this also being used as a spot treatment. It says on the instructions, to use this for about 10 minutes. I've been noticing me use it for about five to 10 minutes, anywhere in that range, just depending on what I feel like my skin needs that day. If I've used it before in the week, I feel like five minutes would be perfect. Just kind of listen to your skin and see how it reacts. And then I go from there. So as I start to wash it off, it is a very gentle cleanse. Like you can barely tell that it's even doing anything but the texture is very reflective of a cleanser. My skin definitely does feel like I need to go in with a moisturizer after it. It does leave just a nice finish to the skin. It's not extremely dry, like there's definitely still some moisture there, but I just feel like I need to go in with a moisturizer, which is typical after a face mask. But yeah, that's about all I can say right now. I'm gonna continue using it and see how it performs and then I'll check in again. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm back to give you all my final thoughts on this product. I really enjoyed this face mask. It was a very unique texture from any other face mask that I had used before. It was a little bit more lightweight, but it still had the great results that I was hoping to see with it. I do feel like this product is best to use once to three times a week. I would cap it at three times. I personally found that using it once a week was perfect for me, almost as like a detox. I feel like that my skin got a little bit dry when I was using it two to three times a week and that's just my personal preference. I did use it on my t-zone of course because that is where I'm the most oily. I feel like that dry skin really wouldn't benefit from this product and I feel like it could be too drying for dry skin. I know that dry skin can have acne as well but I really don't feel like this product is designed for that. I feel like it is best designed for oily skin. I did notice whenever I was using it on some of my dry areas that it would get extremely dry and it would take a couple 
couple of days for me to recover from that. So I just stick to using this in my T-zone and that's why I feel like this product may not be designed for dry skin. This product though did do a great job at detoxing the skin and being extremely gentle while doing it. Where I was more oily, I really didn't experience any dryness or any sensitivity. I felt like this product was really gentle and I really liked the cleansing aspect of it because it was very gentle, but yet it was very easy to rinse off, which is something that I know is crazy, but I really enjoy in a face mask because I always struggle to get them off. This product shows some really great results. I feel like it is a situational product, but it's not expensive and I feel like it would be good just to keep this product on hand. It is a very good option for a detox mask and I feel like that Hero Cosmetics has made a really great product. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.